JJ, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Listen, guys, this this is an, an amazing message. This is an amazing uh question that this kid um sent me. Uh basically says, Hello Joe, I've got a question which I like to have I like your advice on. I started as a junior web developer in January, but have been doing nothing but SEO since we didn't have any dev job. Right. Due to this, I forgot most of the things I learned. Right. But now my boss wants someone to make an invoice for our business, which also has a uh, PayPal or Stripe payment request. I just restarted web development, working through, you know, THR uh, timeline. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, working through the timeline uh, on your site. Should I jump to PHP in my SQL? And try to make this invoice for my boss so I can do web development and we'll stick to the timeline and learn everything. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to be completely honest. You know, don't be mad at me. But I really think that people do this all the time. You know, sometimes you get hired in a company as a junior developer and next thing you, you know they want you to upload products or they want you to uh you know write some descriptions so now for the next two three months all you've been doing is just stuff that has nothing to do with web development this happens all the time guys when you get hired as a junior developer you pretty much you're just like an extra hand for like you know data entry and and everything a lot of times it happens like that not every single time you're going to be able to be coding, right? So what happens here, right? What What's my thoughts on this? I think you should have been practicing all the time. Even after you, you, you know, you finish working and, and you finish well, coming out of your job, you have to continue working. You have to continue taking courses online. You have to continue practicing. Even if you got the job, because situations like this is going to happen at some point, they're going to ask you, oh, can you build this? And then you haven't done web development in months, you know? So it's like now you, it's like in reality, it's like a, this thing, let me put it like this. It's like when you ride a bicycle, right? You always going to know how to ride the bike. But if you haven't rode a bike in three years, that first time that you're getting on, you might fall off. And you might hit your head, break your arm, because your your body and your mind is not used to it. You haven't done it so long that, how you say, you forgot a lot of things, right? So, this is a warning to everybody. Guys, you have to practice. Like, I do this all the time. When I was working full-time, I would come home, learn a whole bunch of stuff, learn Golang, learn, uh, you know, uh, C sharp, learn stuff like, you know, more advanced JavaScript, more advanced React. Like I was still learning and I continue to learn every single day. Even now that I'm doing YouTube full time, I take two hours of the day to basically do research, find out what's out there, create small projects for myself to basically stimulate my mind and, and, and continue doing this. Now, for this kid, what I will say is, you have to ask yourself, at what level you at right now, right? You work there, so you have to build this, this invoice, no matter what, because that's your job. So you just got to figure it out. Now, you come into my website, what exactly is it that you need to do? You need to ask yourself, at what level I am? Do I need to go back and learn HTML, CSS from the beginning? Then if you do, then you have to do that, because you, how can you build a page without knowing HTML? And CSS, how, or you forgot, it's been that long that, it, you know, that you forgot how, uh, how to break down a layout or whatever, right? You have to go back and revise it. A lot of those things, you're going to just, it's going to come up to your head and be like, oh yeah, I remember how to do this. And you just skip to the next one. Just scheme through the whole course and then jump onto, you know, PHP and MySQL, right? On my description, I have, uh, a course that is, directly for PHP and MySQL. On my website, I have uh, basically a, a beginner's uh, tutorial 
for the Laravel. I'm still building that course, so it's not complete. I'm doing that now, especially now that I'm here full time, so I'm knocking that out as soon as possible. But what I will say to you is you should do something like this. You should either uh just ask yourself at what level you at, you know what I mean? Like if you really do not remember anything, then you have to start from the beginning. And I, I would say, hey, man, don't even try to take the, the project on, on yourself. Like, if there's another developer, pass it on to the other person. If you really think that you're going to have to start from the beginning. Because it's going to be, number one, embarrassing when, you know, your your boss comes to you and be like, oh, hey, John, can you? Can you finish this off and and then you're building it and you're like you just don't know what to do right don't embarrass yourself right now if you have some type of knowledge of web development you remember some of the things then go ahead take my my course that I have on SAS like a pro or not SAS like a pro <laughs> Laravel like a pro which should be here somewhere on my website and pretty much just take that. That's going to give you the basics of Laravel. Basically, rewrite, update, delete. All you need to basically create any type of, of invoice. You know, and at the same time, man, you're going to have to look into APIs. You know, there's a lot of things that come with it. It's like databases, right? Connecting to the API of Stripe or PayPal. Uh, like, there's so many different uh small skills that you need to build this project that you jumping in and not knowing or remembering anything is really going to be bad you know like, i want to be positive it's just it sucks it feels like you was there you got hired they put you to do stuff that wasn't dealing with web development and then now they want you to do something and but it's like you haven't practiced on your own time you know what i mean it's like in one sense, it's their fault because they, they hire you as a junior developer, but then they have you doing uh, web development. But then at the same time, it's also your fault because if, you, if you're if you not an expert and you're a junior developer and you're not an expert and they hire you and you know that you're not an expert, an expert is somebody who knows this like the back of the hand because right now I could do, I could forget, um, to do web development for you know a year I don't have to do web development for a year but I'm an expert in, on a lot of things so it's like when I come back I know all these things when you're a junior developer you need to do a lot of projects to have that in your head engraved in there you can't just leave it alone and be like hey I'm just gonna disappear for two three months and then come back in it's gonna be hard it's gonna be like you started from scratch so you know it sucks I will say, man, if there's somebody else in there, get them to do it or else look, look online, maybe like, a, a, a you know, a WordPress, there might be like a WordPress theme out there for, for that or something already pre-built where you could go in there and, and just edit it. You know, it sucks for me to tell you that because it's like, man, you know, it's like, I want you to go in there hard hard and, and and just you know get the project done but it's like if you're telling me like you don't know where you're gonna start if you should go to back to the timeline it's like that means you forgot a lot of things you know what i mean so i wish you nothing but the best um man that sucks i i know that definitely sucks to be in that position um i just wish that you would have never stopped learning online and continue making projects on your own even if you have a job it doesn't matter this web development is not something that is like a job guys it's not something like it's like hey i learned javascript and i learned html css and i learned php i got a job that's it i stopped learning i stopped practicing at home no this is something that you gotta love and you gotta continue doing it right and it really sucks that Maybe you have other things in your life. Maybe you you basically you're like, oh man, I'm already doing enough work, even though work is not related to uh, web development. And then you just drop the ball. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. I wish you nothing but the best. And just keep me updated. I want to know what happens. You know, and and probably the people here they want to know exactly what happens too. 
uh, with this project. Just keep us updated. Um, let me know. You know, if anything, email me. If I can help you with anything, I'll help you out and try to guide you the right places. But yeah, man. You already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, man. Listen, we, we trying something new, man. We doing every morning questions by you guys. So you guys have to send me questions to my email or you go to my channel and you go to, I think, about, and then there's a thing there where you could just message me through YouTube. It's up to you. I'd rather you email me because when you email me, I have your email and then we could go back and forth. When I go through YouTube, I don't even get the notifications. I have to be constantly checking it out. All right. So, guys, like I said, we here, we live on YouTube. We we killing the game. Um, you know, please support me. Uh, support the channel. Make sure you like the the videos. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share it to your friends. Um, and yeah, man, come to the website, man. We have for this month only. Whoever signs up now. Is gonna have the website for five dollars until they cancel the the account, right? So you basically get this all of this this courses and all of this content, you know, over you know four hundred dollars of content, right? You get it for five dollars a month, right? Now every single day I'm adding new videos and new courses and new um, tutorials that I'm doing to the website. So it's like your investment for five dollars. It's like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's paying back, right? Every single day to you guys. Cause the knowledge that you're going to pick up is amazing. Trust me, man. I have so many people that send me messages like, yo, I just got a job. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for this. And people just like, they just excited, man. They really love the, the, the courses. They love what I'm doing here. So trust me, give it a chance. It's $5. If you can't afford it, let me know. Send me an email. Um, we'll figure something out. You know what I mean? I mean, and guys, please don't game the system. You have to understand. I'm doing this full time, meaning I'm basically whatever you guys uh, throw to me with your subscription. Think about it like this. For every $5, I make $3, guys. So it's like, in reality, if you guys try to game the system and be like, hey, hey, I'm from, you know, I'm from, uh, uh, you know, uh, hi, my name is James from... Uh, I don't know, from Ethiopia. Could you please send me a, a, a code to get the free membership? Most likely, I'm going to send it to you, but don't game the system because it's like, you know, it's like, this is my livelihood. And at the same time, it's like, don't game the system because then it's like, what happens if there's a kid from Ethiopia who really needs the code? And now I'm giving it to you and you like, you know, you live in California and you're chilling. You're like, man, I'm just... I'm just not trying to pay five dollars, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, don't do that, man. We all here to help each other out, man. So don't game the system. Um, and the reason I say that is because I, I I caught some kid who is like, he's like, oh man, I'm I'm you know, send me send me a code, you know, I live in um, he said Czechoslovakia or something like that. I said, you know what, you know this kid, I feel bad for this kid. Whatever, I, I send him a code. Next thing I know, I was like, you know what? Just for the hell of it, let me see. Sorry. I Googled the, the email that he sent it to me to. And it's like, it's some kid from like California, brand new Yeezys. I'm like, bro, come on. You're telling me you can't invest $5 to yourself? Like, come on, man. Don't do it. Don't game the system because I'm, I'm here trying to help people out. And it's like, you guys help me out. And at the same time, when you help me out, I help other people out that can't afford this thing. All right. So don't game the system. Guys, anyways, sorry talking so much. Uh, I love you guys. Guys, check out the tutorial next. You know, later on today, we have three videos, man. There's going to be this one, which is a question. Uh, another one, which is the tutorials every day. And then from there in the nighttime is like a random video. All right. Okay, guys. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.